How's it going? Welcome back to Tool Show with me, Master Dan, the Journeyman Shooter. And today it's a lovely day. I'm up here in Crescent Heights looking over the city and it's beautiful out. So why not do a little talk on our regular coffee time segment? And I've got another delicious flavor this morning. And it's a classic. It's one of our caramel drizzles. And uh, we all know why Snoop Dogg loves caramel drizzle coffee. And Faux drizzle. <laughs> ah, I'm just kidding. That's still a, it's still a horrible joke. And I apologize to all you guys for starting off that way, but uh, at least maybe it got you smiling and hopefully got you in a little bit more of a positive attitude. So I figured we'd have a little talk this morning and uh, what would we have our coffee time talk about? And I figured this would be kind of a half man of the week kind of show and half coffee time because it's a good lesson to learn. And there's a lot of stuff you got to talk about when it comes to this. And what is it? Have, okay, here it is. So have you all ever heard of Spencer Haywood? Spencer Haywood. He played for Detroit. Well, he came from Detroit. Well, he moved to Detroit from Memphis, but he was a really good guy. He was an amazing basketball player, just a genius when it came to basketball. And he was really good. And uh, he ended up, he made it from, well, I guess he played in Detroit for a high school, won the state championship, moved on to uh, like uh, Detroit Mercy, I think it was, or some college or university in Detroit. And he ended up like starring for the team that year and doing a really amazing job. And the next year he got signed to the ABA and then the NBA the year after. But the problem was is in the NBA at the time, you had to be four years out of your high school graduating class. So you couldn't basically go straight to the NBA from high school, which is nowadays everybody does that almost. So that would mean no Kobe, no LeBron, no, uh, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of people look up online if you want to who didn't go to college because <laughs> uh, it's, uh, well, yeah, it's just not good. It's College is a good education, but luckily they made millions of dollars and they can afford to go to college after, so that's one thing this guy kind of opened up for them. And Spencer Haywood, he was one of the first people to do that because he actually sued the NBA so that he could play in the NBA because he was too... He wasn't old enough, I guess, compared to the rules of what they wanted and everything, but he was good. He, then the next year, he led the league as a rookie, basically, and ended up winning the Rookie of the Year, I'm pretty sure, but he was amazing. He did a lot of good things. He went to L.A., though, which was kind of one of the big problems because L.A. is a wild crowd. They're uh, showtime. They, they make movies. They party hard, and they do a lot of bad stuff that he shouldn't have. And he had an agent right off the bat because he was so good when he got to the NBA. Everybody wanted a piece of him. Everybody wanted to be his friend. And so what ended up happening was this small company that was just starting up at the time ended up calling him and saying, well, they called his agent and made an offer and said, we'll give you $100,000 or 10% of our company. And at the time, he really wanted that $100,000 because I think it was the 60s or something like that. And the $100,000 is a lot of money back then. But 10% of a company, you don't kind of think about the future. And when you're not thinking about the future, you're thinking about now. And so he wanted that cash. And that was the that was the deal. He, he turned down the 10% of this company and he took the $100,000. And that was a good, that was a lot of money. And he changed his life a little bit at the time. But now he realizes that this is kind of a major deal that he passed up and now what was that little company that offered him the 10% of their company well it was Nike so Nike they offered him 10% of the company or a hundred thousand dollars when the company was just starting up so nowadays he they actually did the value on what that would have been worth and it's worth almost 87 billion dollars 87 billion dollars this guy turned down for a hundred thousand dollars so if you think it could be bad, it could be bad. <laughs> and uh, But that's the thing, they always say when you say it could be worse, it's it always will get worse. So you wanna think positive. You don't wanna think about, hey, what's the worst that could happen on this one? But so he turned down the 10% of Nike, taking $100,000, and that turned out to be an $87 billion loss for him. So the poor guy lost his, his $87 billion and you'd think that's where the kind of the story ends, but he moved to LA, started playing for the Lakers and he was doing really good. He was a great player. He was ex selling again, but the problem was is you're a product of your environment, as we've said a lot of times, and he's in this party crowd. He's hanging out with people that he shouldn't be, like the rich people, the, the people that kind of do drugs, that party, that stay out late, that kind of, that do stuff that's going to hold you back. And poor Spencer, he ended up going to one, like a bunch of these parties and it, he ended up catching a drug problem basically. So he ended up, he'd go out every night and 
first he lost the hundred thousand the, the 86 billion dollars and then now he's going out every night doing stuff he shouldn't and he was dating a supermodel well he was married to a supermodel at the time and they had two kids and she ended up she'd had enough of him going out and partying every night and she finally left him and it turns out that the guy that she did leave him for was David Bowie so she left the poor guy that just turned down 86 billion dollars and then left and married David Bowie right after and they were together until the day David Bowie died which was pretty ironic because most people don't know about that that this guy he had 10% of Nike offered to him he turned it down and then because of a drug problem he lost his wife to David Bowie so it's the uh, the story just keeps pounding and pounding on this poor guy and that's what I really respect the guy is because he's actually learned to uh, learn from all these mistakes he's not just sitting around and saying well look what I lost look what I gave up he's he gave up his drug problem that he had and he I think this is a 30 years sober so he's the same age as me almost I'm not 30 yet so I'm not I'm gonna, not gonna jump that bridge yet, so don't call me 30. And somebody actually said that, they're like, oh, you're a 30 year old man. I was like, no, I'm 29 years old, okay? <laughs> when I'm 30, I'm hoping to have this show going full time and that's where it's really gonna take off. But that's why I figured I'd kind of talk to you guys about stuff that I know. And there's a lot of crazy stuff that I know. And just like the Spencer Haywood story, it's important. Most people have never heard of this guy that turned down 10% of Nike. He paved the way for people like Kobe, LeBron, uh, who else? There's a lot of big tall guys that are, <laughs> I guess everybody in the NBA is pretty tall but but that's it he turned down all, like all these crazy things then he lost his wife to David Bowie and it was one crazy thing after the next and but the guy still learned something from it because I was watching him on the Detroit News I get the Detroit News just because uh, the East Coast time zones I prefer to go to bed early I kind of grew up with all old men that were like my leaders on site and so I prefer to go to bed early so I watch the East Coast time zone which is two hours ahead of ours so that I can go to bed two hours ahead of most of the people here so I can get up early and the early the early worm gets the birds I guess so mm, that's a good coffee still but that's why I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, Spencer Haywood it's a uh, it's crazy what drugs can kind of do to people and that's why you got to avoid it I know last night I was even at the gas station and some guy came up and offered me a whole bunch of drugs and even it offered me a great deal for him and uh, that's the thing maybe the younger me would have said wow sure that's a crazy deal why, why not but the older me is smart enough to to realize that I don't need it I don't need those kind of things in my life I don't uh, I don't have the money for it I don't have the time for it and I'm learning from other people's mistakes and that's what you want to do in life you don't want to make those mistakes yourself you'd prefer to learn from other people like a Spencer Haywood somebody that's turned down 87 million dollars and uh, could have been the king of the world right now like this guy could be he could have everything he could own anything and do anything he wants but he's learning from that and who knows maybe in a couple years he might get that 10% offer and Nike again but I I doubt that'll ever come his way but yeah you could only imagine like he would have been the original Michael Jordan of the NBA and most people don't even know that that story exists that this guy gave up so much or lost so much just because of of things that could have been choices and that's it choices every single day of your life you have choices you can make good choices or you can make bad choices there's there's a billion different stories there was a brother two twin brothers one's a judge and one's in prison and it the only reason that the ones in prison and the judge brother says it straight up it's because of choices choices that everybody makes every day and you only get one life so why not to live it to the best and yeah try to make the best choices because think about not just the now like the hundred thousand dollars sounds great to anybody and I know even me it's like oh hundred thousand dollars geez that sounds amazing but you got to think things through and you got to think about the future because the future is important <laughs> especially if you have no future you're just kind of living in the past or living in the now and it's tough because you can't kind of dwell on the past but you got to use your past as something that's going to get you to where you're going to be later on in life and that must have been it. Spencer Haywood wasn't ready for that $86 billion. He might not have used it the proper way. And it was a sign that he deserved to do other things like teach people his valuable lesson about what happened and what could happen if things aren't done properly and you do bad things. And so poor guy is doing well now and he's coming back and that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about today was Spencer Haywood and his crazy life. It's a, it's an interesting story. So if you want to go look up his book, I'm sure he's got one out there because it's a wild story. Most people would never believe it and look it up. That's all I wanted to say. So for Tool Show, I'm Master Dan, the journeyman shooter. Coffee time. You guys have a great day and make sure you're making the right choices in life. So thank you so much. Have a good day.